Prior to commencement of Alamac mining, the required development must be established. This consists of a lower access, which is usually an ore drift that is normally driven parallel to the foot wall drift. The raise is driven along the hanging wall up the ore body. Generally, it will break through into an upper level ore drift. All the required gear to run the Alamac is stored in the nest, including the reel and tail rail. The Alamac climbs the rail until it reaches the face of the rays. The workers stand on the deck under the safety of the innovative two-post canopy. Ground support, including straps and bolts, is installed in the four walls and the rail is installed in the hanging wall. The face is drilled off and loaded with ANFO. The Alamac returns to the nest and the workers leave the heading. After the blast, the muck is removed via scoop. Each round usually advances the rays by 2.4 meters along the hanging wall of the ore body, which is normally dipping anywhere from 55 to 90 degrees. Being that the rays is driven in ore, ore starts to hit the ground as soon as the rays driving has begun. A round is cycled in this manner every shift until the rays breaks through to the upper level. Typically, the rays is 50 to 200 meters long. Once the rays is completely excavated, screen is installed in the four walls of rays to help ensure worker safety. Cable bolt holes are drilled and cable bolts are installed and grouted into the hanging wall. This will be the support in the center of the stope. Production holes are then drilled. Depending on the width of the ore body, these holes are done out to each side and possibly out into the foot wall. Manrock has been very successful at mining ore bodies with widths as narrow as 1 meter to 15 meters wide or more, while maintaining a very desirable dilution, which is in most cases much better than the dilution obtained by conventionally drilled stopes. The nest is then relocated to the top of the rays. A stripping deck which hangs from the bottom of the Alamac is installed. A blast crew works from the stripping deck, loading the production holes with ANFO and removing the rail. With the rays acting as a slot, Blasts are taken, a few rings at a time and progressing larger from the bottom of the stope up. Most of the muck remains in the stope to add additional support on the walls and reduce dilution. Only enough ore is removed to provide a suitable void for the upcoming blasts. Once all the holes have been blasted, the ore is promptly removed from the stope and the stope is often then backfilled. This is repeated in each stope until the ore body is completely mined. A variety of sequencing options are available with this method that are site and ore body specific. Alamac mining lends itself well to other applications outside of the mining of ore. Manrock has used this method to drive shafts and ventilation and service raises to final excavated dimensions of 8 meters and more. <laughs>